40 dam 40 percent damage pretty much I think that should be fine. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's fine. I don't think we need to do any more. Just keep throwing Pokeballs and hopefully we catch it. Hoopa, hoopa, hoopa. Oh, man. Or we could do, like, the time stop rule only happens for, like, one Pokemon. Like, on one legendary per team or per type. So, like, let's say on Psychic type, let's say I want to get Hoopa again. I can't use the same time stop trick because I already used it here, right? Oh, come on, man. Come on, Hoopa. Yeah, I think the only thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the... Uh, or not increase. Oh, wait. What am I thinking of? Uh, yeah, I'm going to increase the spawn chance. I'm not going to, I'm not going to decrease the time it takes for it. So now for a legendary spawn, I'll take 50%. So now we should see more legendaries kind of thing come into play. But again, they still have like the same time frame though. Because I think that the time frame that they have now is okay. It's just the percentage is just even more evil to like, it's just an added evil to it. Like, hey, you get to wait like in, like 20, like 30 minutes and then you might get a legendary. Like, you know what I mean, though? Like, you might get the Legendary. Who knows? You might not even get it. And I find that that's the most evilest thing you can ever actually do. Come on. Come on. Do we get the Hoopa? Come on. Stay in Hoopa, please. Ah. Oh. Come on, Hoopa. You're going to be in the grand finale, even though... Even though you haven't been with us throughout the entire journey, though, you could have. I mean, there was a chance that we could have gotten the Hoopa, but it didn't stay in the Pokeball. Power split. I can't wait for the one chance where I'm going to be like, okay, I'm going to throw a Pokeball, then I accidentally hit the button to run. That would happen. No. Hoopa's not staying in as, as much as it should have. I'm trying to think, if I go with... Like, if I send out Nuzleaf next, should I just let Nuzleaf astonish once kind of thing? Or should I just keep it where it is? And just keep throwing Pokeballs and hope that I actually do get it. Wait. I don't need to worry about chip damage. Because I have Tyranitar. We can use Sandstorm to do the chip damage for us. Unless the Hoopa stays in. Not staying in though, unfortunately. Yeah, none of them are actually. It's not actually gonna work. Take out the honcho. You don't have a way of removing status condition, so I technically honcho is now useless. Well, I don't want to say useless. To be fair, technically I can use. Nightshade one more time, but it is but it's gonna be in a dangerous position. What? Come on, 
Afghanistan. Okay, so eight percent each time. Okay, sandstorm might not have been a good idea. Unless it stays in. Maybe. Oh, wait, no, wait, maybe it is. I thought it did 8% on one sandstorm. I was like, are you kidding me? Like, sandstorm did 8% on one, like, thing. I was like, oh, no, did I just make a mistake in sending in Tyranitar to not only tank hits... But to have its sandstorm be the to be the kicker that will actually let me catch the dang thing. No, it's still not staying in. Come on, stay in already. I know you want to, Hoopa. Come on. I think it wants its own adventure, that's why. It's like, no, start off with Psychic next, so that you can use me. I mean, technically I could. It's just that Hoopa would be at the sort of the level limit. Another Hoopa spawned? Oh my god, you can have multiple of them? Ooh. Okay. Come on. It skill swapped my ability so it procced. What? Oh my word, that is so weird. Don't you dare despawn, Hoopa. That was, that is weird. All right, Hoopa, come on, man. Okay, thunder wave. It's exactly 33.3%. Or no, it's 32. My bad. No. It used Phantom Force. Okay, so I can definitely use Phantom Force. Or not Phantom Force. I can use uh, Nightshade again. And it should survive, in theory. Here we go. So now we need to avoid using uh, Tyranitar. Come on, Hoopa. I understand your catch rate is three, but just stay in, please. on come on let's end this session on a good note catch a hoopa come on I wish you could get like catching power or something like that in here. That'd be pretty cool if you can use O powers. I think that was the one thing I actually always used in X and Y was the catching power because there's no way I can catch things with a Pokeball. I think it was that and maybe the XP one. Those are the only two O powers I think I mostly used. <clears throat> Come on. Sorry, I just want to double check something. So you know what? Just so I can keep track of it. <gasps> I can't get rid of full screen? Oh, 
That is not a good thing. All right. So I have to constantly keep checking to make sure that the microphone's not muted. All right, I don't mind going for an extra 32 or so minutes if it means that we'll get the hoopa. But we need the hoopa. Come on. Come on, Hoopa. Hoopa, if you don't stay in the Pokeball, how can I use you in battle? I think you need to bring in, like, every single Pokeball that I've ever owned in this game. <clears throat> Just to be able to catch this Hoopa. No, stay in. Stay in the Pokeball. Don't go out of it. Stay in the Pokeball. Come on, you'll be a valuable member. Come on, Hoopa. Got too much your powers unleashed on this world. Want to unleash your powers upon the world? No, it doesn't want to. <clears throat> you want to have a valuable trainer that will treat you with respect? I don't know. No? Apparently not. I don't understand why it says broke free when, like, it should have, like, oh, my God, like, it was close or something like that. Because that tells me how many wiggles it did. It's kind of like what I look at whenever I do it. Oh, I thought that said I caught. Yes, I caught it finally. But no, it just says that another hoop has spawned. I mean, that's good to know still, but. Come on, Hoopa. Okay. All right, Greninja, we're throwing Pokeballs again. Come on, Hoopa, stay in the bloody Pokeball already. Oh, that's weird. Usually, if the enemy Pokemon uses Phantom Force, you can't throw a Pokeball. But yet, I could. Stay in the Pokeball. Come on, Hoopa. Get with the program. Hoopa, we need to capture you. Come on, Hoopa, we can do some really cool things with Zoroark over here. Come on, we can use Illusion, and then they'll think I have two Hoopas. And then they'll be really confused. It's like, is this the Hoopa? Is this not the Hoopa? Come on. Come on, Hoopa. Why is it that Zacian takes one Pokeball? Groudon doesn't take long at all, but yet Hoopa takes like a 10 billion years. Come on, bro. Seriously? Did they make mythicals harder? Come on, there's no way. There's no way they made mythicals harder than legendaries. That would just be silly. Because it wouldn't take this long. Again, without knowing how many wiggles I'm getting, I, I, I can't properly assess, like, is it doing anything or not? It just says keep breaking, like it keeps breaking free. But in the normal Pokemon games, that means it doesn't wiggle or it wiggles once. 
But yet, if you look at the animation, like, it's wiggling, like, two or three times. But that's normal. Oh, in case you want to know where it's wiggling, it's, like, close to me, I think. Yeah, it's, like, right around here, I think it is. Oh, now it's not even showing. That's interesting. Maybe it's on this side. No, that's not even showing it. That's weird. It was showing it before. At the Honch Crow, I saw it. It was only when you throw it, because it looks like he's just throwing it behind him. Hoopa, stay in the Pokeball.